We as a humankind have been fighting against different challenges throughout the existence of our history. Wars, diseases, hunger. And we all know we have a new one. That's the climate change. Then there is one thing, though, which is quite different with the climate change than with the others. It's the fact that we can actually measure it. We can measure and we can quantify it. And we all know that solving a problem starts by being able to measure and quantify it. Weather prediction is one of humanity's greatest achievements. Observations are at the heart of everything we do here at XWeather. But the value of observation goes well beyond just weather forecasting. At the end of the day, we realize that what we're all trying to do is better prepare, make decisions, and act in response to weather and climate change. If you want a truly accurate forecast where you stand, or where your business, your assets, or your customers stand, you have to measure that local environment. And here at XWeather, we have tools and technologies that help us monitor and forecast for things like severe weather, air quality, heat waves, which unfortunately are in the news more and more these days. We can help solve for environmental justice challenges in underrepresented communities, and even measure street by street microclimates. To really solve the environment, we need to understand it. And true insight comes from visualization interactive animations framed in your context. Weather affects everyone, and especially large-scale events. So with MAPS-GO, it's effortless to combine multiple data sets together in order to make sense of the weather. Each year, millions of acres in the U.S. burn from lightning-triggered wildfires. Now, the intense release of energy from lightning strikes, in addition to starting wildfires, poses a significant hazard to people and animals and represents a frequent source of power disruptions and electrical and structural damage. There's a variety of ways that we can mitigate its destructive impacts. And one of those ways is to track lightning in real time, allowing people to make informed decisions based on where lightning is now and where it's going. We have deployed a global network of precisely tuned and extremely sensitive radio receivers capable of detecting these pulses at a global scale. Energy is going through one of the largest transformations in human history. We're witnessing the transition from fossil fuels to renewable sources of energy. There are no shortage of challenges in the way of making this happen. And that transition is so important to reducing emissions and creating a sustainable future. Our collective future depends on that transition being successful. Here at XWeather, we can help you understand the past, the present, and the future of the fuels that drive renewables. We're firm believers in if you want to actually start making things better, you want to start making forecasts better, whether it's for a wind farm or whether it's for anything else, you want to start with the best physical representation of what's going on where and when, right, at this sort of high resolution scale. Weather, cars, time, they all leave a mark mark for us, they leave a mark for the roads. Roads have been a specific topic for YFLI and for XWeather for a long time. And the beauty of XWeather, like you've seen today, is that you can do so many things with it. People and businesses come up with so many different ways of using detailed exact weather information. Fortum is Europe's third largest producer of carbon-free electricity and among the largest power utilities in Scandinavia. To deliver them their own weather forecast, a forecast that outperforms any other available in the market, we utilize our unique assets and capabilities to integrate hardware and software. We at Vaisala are the world's best when it comes to measuring and quantifying the weather and environment. We want to provide data and tools for everyone to find the absolute truth and to put it into good use. I wasn't expecting um, 
the depth of information that I saw and I was happily surprised and I was also very inspired because I think particularly today uh, there's a hurricane that's hitting Florida and that information was brought up real time within the presentation so for me it was extremely relevant hit home and it also gave me hope that we're actually doing something um, as a as, as companies, as people, to make a positive change in terms of turning around uh, climate change and bettering the environment. Um, and there's so much on the table in terms of using your guys' information and data and APIs to improve the way we forecast, build, and design uh, solar power plants. So there's so much, so much untapped uh, potential there, really. I think it was very impressive, and I think that the, Im the image of the future where we have smart devices uh, helping us solve problems that, that we already have and that you know, even kill people these days. Um, uh, like you know, ground traction on the roads, for example, which is a problem that I'm thinking about as well. Um, that, that, the, that future, you know, I think, is very interesting. And this tech can, can change the world, can save time, energy, resources, but also lives. What I learned today is the power of integrative thinking. Vaisala does this extraordinary job of bringing together hardware, software, data, AI, cloud, a range of technologies, all to solve real world problems. And that's incredibly empowering and inspiring.